This is a demonstration of the application sharing and mouse interaction uh, sharing user stories for the Podium application. What I have here is uh, my desktop PC running a copy of the application in what is called presenter mode. And then I also have a copy of the application running on my laptop in what is, we are calling attendee mode. So I have the computers sitting side by side so I can easily interact with them and, and show you uh, the things that are going on. Um, I can't start the I cannot start the webcam on my desktop because I'm using the webcam um, to do the presentation here. This particular webcam stream is not part of the application. It's part of the video compositing system that I'm using to make this uh, to make this video. Um, but the attendee could come in here and uh, start their webcam stream. And you can, and you can see, see that, that it comes, comes up on the presenter's screen. And then, and then the, the presenter, presenter can choose to start an application. And it comes up on the attendee screen. And the, atten and the presenter can move their mouse around and we can see their mouse moving around. Um, they also have their name attached to their mouse. So we can tell who is who, and the attendee can move their mouse around as well. And we can see that they have a name attached to you. And it shows up on both the attendee's computer and the presenter's computer. So we have the, we have the sharing of the mouse location currently built into the system. Right now, only the presenter can interact with the application. We don't have mouse clicks going back and forth um, from the attendee to the presenter computer. Um, but the attendee can request that a different application be loaded. And so that sends a signal back to the presenter, and then a new, uh, a new site is loaded up. So you may so notice that there is a little bit of a ghost cursor here and a little bit of a, a delay, a little bit of a lag between them the to the solid cursor catching up. So the ghost cursor is the user's real cursor, real cursor location. Um, if you can see uh, between the two um, between the two application windows, you can see that. The cursor in the presenter's view follows the ghost cursor almost immediately. The solid cursor uh, is coming back through the video stream as it's rendered into the video stream on the presenter's computer. So that's why there's a little bit of latency between those two cursors lining up. We are considering just not rendering the cursors directly into the video stream. Uh, instead, we would share the cursor locations between all users within the room so that they can have the most up-to-date um, version of the of the uh, cursor location without impacting the, uh, the streaming of the applications or um, slowing down having to go through the, the compression and decompression. Um, which introduces latency in the video stream. Uh, so, that's uh, so that's about it. What we have, what we have left to do is, is um, integrate, integrate these, these features into the main podium, podium application. application. We built this, we built as, this a, as a separate prototype, prototype application, application to be able to iterate, iterate quickly and um, not, impact not impact the main application, main application work that Mike has, Mike has been doing um, to improve the user interface. Um, we have the key, key keyboard events to implement, um, which are uh, should not be terribly difficult. We have the underlying network infrastructure in place. It's all a peer-to-peer WebRTC-based system. Um, so setting up the keyboard events between uh, between the different users um, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, we also have the mouse clicking to do as well. Um, and then that should be just about it for the application streaming and mouse sharing user stories. Thank you very much.